In this video, we are going to walk through how to use Newzella as a student. So you'll most likely access Newzella assignments in Google Classroom. So here we have the classwork section of our Newzella class and we'll click on an assignment here. You can either click on the link and follow the directions from this view or you can click on view assignment and open it up full screen. And then we have our instructions and we'll click on the link and log in with Google if prompted. It most likely will automatically log you in if you're logged in on your Chrome book and then we can see our assignment here the instructions will open up at the top and then as you scroll down you can read through the instructions from your teacher and then click on the article at the bottom or if it's a text set there will be multiple articles that you can access down below so in this example we have one article to read and we'll click on that and open it up and again you'll see the instructions at the top so in this example we had instructions what to do before reading while we're reading we have some annotation guidelines color coding and then after reading we're going to do the quiz and go back to google classroom and mark it as done at the top here, there is a read aloud button. So if you'd like to have the article read aloud to you at any time, you can click that button just below the article title. And then as we scroll through, you can read the article. In the upper right corner, there is a button that you can change the reading level if you want to challenge yourself or if the text is just a little bit too challenging you can change it to a lower reading level and you can check that out at any time in the upper right corner you can change the reading level and um, read the article at a different level and then you can go through and highlight any of the text with your mouse and it will automatically bring up the annotation and highlighting options over on the right margin, just like in Google Docs. So you can see we can add a comment here, our annotation, and then you can change the color option at the top. It automatically saves to the article in your account. So you don't have to worry about saving any of your highlighting or annotations. So you can see we can highlight and choose the color. We don't have to add an annotation. You can just use it to highlight and mark anything through the article um, according to the instructions. So over on the right, there's also the activities button or activities shelf. You can see there's a writing prompt to answer and a quiz. So once you click on the writing prompt, if you have multiple classes in Newzella, you'll need to choose the class to submit the writing prompt for. So we chose our Newzella class from Google Classroom. You can read the writing prompt and type in our response below and then click submit response when you're done. You can click the little back arrow and then you can answer the quiz and then we can go through all you have to do is read the question and select your response and then click next and we'll just go through quickly and submit at the end and it will automatically tell you your score and which questions you got right or wrong you can review um, if you would like so that's how you um, do any of the activities options. When you are completed with the article and the quiz, you can come back to Google Classroom and mark as done. You'll need to do that to let your teacher know that you've completed that assignment in Newzella. They'll be able to see your progress there as well as in uh, Google Classroom. So as a student, you can also access the normal Newzella website. You can use it to search for your own articles to read or research. And on the Newzella platform, you've got um, the articles organized into different sections. You have latest news, featured articles, um, articles on uh, good news and fiction, poetry, things like that. You can scroll through the content and find things that you might want to read. If you'd like to save something to read later, you can click the little bookmark icon and it will be saved under your content, saved by you. So you can access that at any time. You can also go directly to your assignments from newzella.com and you can see all of your assignments for all of your classes located here in one spot. 
You can check on your progress across all of your classes. It will show you average scores and average reading levels. You can see class by class if you would like. And then if you scroll down, you can see all of your assignments down at the bottom and all of your scores. So that is in the binder section. You can track your progress. You can also see a word wall. If you have done any power words activities in Newzella, your words that you have learned will be here and you can uh, level up and uh, collect those points for power word activities with other power words articles. So again, you can search for articles and browse for articles um, to find anything that you're researching or things that interest you on the Newzella platform. And you can access those assignments through Google Classroom from your teacher.